Hello, and this is uh, Dr. Josh Smith, and I hope everybody is doing well, and that we are having a pleasant evening. Um, I am coming to you live from the Sanctum Sanctorium, and um, today I am going to be talking about... Um, what to do if your child is uh, being bullied or if your child is the bully and um, this can be an upsetting topic for many people uh, but we're gonna go through it slow and uh, hopefully this ends up being a great experience for everybody uh, this workshop is being sponsored by Jared Smith uh, and he is, hello Tabitha, he is raising money for the Out of Darkness Walk for Suicide Intervention and if you would like uh, to donate to that cause uh, I have, the link is in the description for this video and then I've just put it in the comments uh, to make a link for Jared's walk to raise the money for that important cause. Uh, when we're talking about bullying, we're talking about a very important cause uh, that affects a lot of people. And um, today we're going to be keeping it at uh, looking at when children are bullied. Uh, and so there's a lot of different uh, topics we can get into related to this. Um, but we're going to, tr to try to keep it into a simple format. Feel free to ask questions in the comments at any time and I will answer any questions that you have. Um, when we start going to school, uh, we are told that everyone is our friend. Uh, and that is a nice sentiment to be sure. But um, in reality, not everyone is our friend and uh, the um, uh, there are people in, a, in this life that go f within a spectrum there are people that are like our best friends and we would trust them with anything and then we have our friends we have our acquaintances we, uh, we have the people that we don't get along with well and then we have the people I would uh, classify as bullies and um, I had one kid that I worked with he would call them his enemies uh, and, he, and he really enjoyed uh, uh, his superheroes and that kind of genre so he would use some of the language involved with that it is very common uh, for bullying behavior to start in middle school it can happen in elementary school but it can it can really get into high gear in middle school and what we are dealing with is a lot of different appropriate developmental steps all coming together at the same time for one children start going through puberty so they feel different and these feelings are rather new and they don't know how to deal with these type of feelings their ability to communicate communicate emotions is not what it will be like when they are an older teenager or an, or an adult uh, at this point they go from wanting their life to revolve around their family to their life will ro revolve around their friends and they feel an intense desire uh, to be like everyone else and there's a big problem with that is we're all different and so middle school children can be quite adept at identifying the differences and using those to make fun of other individuals in the sense in, a, in an attempt to make themselves look better and um, 
so it comes out of their own insecurities and their own desire to form relationships with other people um, there are several different types of bullying that we deal with let's start with physical bullying um, and that can take a lot of different forms uh, s swirlies throwing into dumpsters stuffed into uh, um, lockers punched hit kicked bit um, anything that involves physical aggression to any degree being spit on um, and one of the main areas of feedback that I get from parents is that uh, if their child is hit they want their child to hit back and that is not always a possibility I believe that parents should give the advice to their children that they want to give uh, but bullying is a very complex situation and sometimes individuals are presented with possibilities with presented with scenarios in which them striking back is not going to improve the situation um, so first major disclaimer and this will shock you all but it is true is I was a geek in middle school and high school and I was bullied I know that's hard to believe um, but you know you know 150 pounds this same height really thick glasses braces uh, and I mean just did not lead to you know most popular kid in school and um, and I was physically bullied a lot uh, and did I try to hit back yes there was many times I tried to hit back and there was times where I would hit back just to get an opportunity to leave the situation now there were times though that there was four or five uh, boys who were bigger and stronger than me who were all bullying me at the same time and that presented a very tough situation uh, to flee from um, one of the worst times I was ever bullied was by four guys after a dance and um, and they really hurt me and there was nothing I could do to physically leave the situation the uh, another type of bullying is verbal bullying and um, you will hear people say sticks and stones will break my bones but words will never hurt me uh, that has not been my experience um, and one of and while I've had uh, dirty swirlies given to me and thrown down staircases and thrown into dumpsters and things like that the one well, the thing that hurts the most uh, was when uh, a young woman threw a piece of cake at my face and said if I was if I was that embarrassing I would do the world a favor and kill myself that pain is there um, and still affects me from time to time the um, the effects of bullying can continue throughout an individual's time here on this earth and uh, it can still bother them when they're an older person and still affect how they view themselves and their behavior so we have to be very careful when we respond another thing that parents will say uh, when their children tell them about being bullied is that they want to go up to that school and they want to yell at the teachers, yell at the principals, find the kid who did this and uh, 
And sometimes that is the right answer, and sometimes it's not. And sometimes uh, you can do that, but you have you have to. There's a nuanced way to do that. I never told my parents about uh, being bullied, and one of the reasons was I did not want them to go up to the school, um, and that because, as we all know, and this is true no matter where you go, it's true even in prison. One of the worst things you can be is a snitch, and I thought that if they found out that I told on them, that uh, I would get it worse than I was already getting it. Uh, which is uh, not what I <laughs> wanted in any way. And um, so it is important to tell your parents. It is important to tell an adult that you trust. And then it is very important, if you are the adult who is trusted, that you listen and you think and you problem solve with the child. It is very tempting uh, to want to go to action. Uh, a young woman that I know was recently cyber bullied uh, and I to this day want to go out to my garage and get a baseball bat and put an end to the problem. Uh, but that is not the best course of advice. Um, when I was growing up, I did go to staff members at school, and I was given horrible advice. Uh, one time I was told, well, Josh, bullying is a part of life, and if you want to be a man, you're going to have to be bullied. Uh, the second time I went to the high school counselor, um, he told me, well, Josh, you have to understand that people that look like you are going to be bullied. And, um, which is insane when you think about it, that an educated adult whose profession would lead to dealing with this kind of problem wouldn't have a better response than that. Uh, it, um, it is important as the adult when kids come forward that you listen uh, to what they have to say, that you talk to them about that, that you acknowledge your, their feelings and validate their feelings, that you normalize and share some of the things that may have happened to you or you saw that happened to others, uh, talk about your feelings, and then try to come up with a strategy to address the issue. Uh, Carrie, I agree with you completely. It bothers me so much uh, that this behavior is tolerated and enabled, and and sometimes I see actions that would lead me to believe that we're doing better, and sometimes uh, I see things and I don't see much progress. But it's up to us that who are aware of this situation to try to make it better in our own way. There was this one young man, um, and um, he was going to a high school in Louisville, and uh, he had fallen asleep in class. He's an African-American young man, 14 years old, and uh, uh, they had one kid film the whole thing with his phone, um, and while another young man went up to him while he was sleeping, slapped his head, and yelled out the N-word, uh, and then posted it on Instagram. And when the mother uh, presented it uh, to the school principal, the principal said, well, the children do have the right for free speech, which I don't think was the best response. I'm going to put myself out there. I don't think that was the best response. And what bothered me is no one took the video down and even though that Instagram receives thousands of complaints about that, Instagram did not take the video down. So, 
that leads us to cyberbullying, which is absolutely horrible. Uh, I have to tell you, while I was treated really poorly in school, at least I didn't have to deal with cyberbullying, um, which is absolutely insane. And I have seen horrible things done to children um, that follows them around, that gets throughout the country, throughout the world, uh, the antics um, that children do here in our small little community. Um, it requires us as parents to be very educated. Um, we need to know what social media apps our children are on you know this part is not fair um, no one gave me a manual on how to be a parent when Caitlin was born which is a shame uh, so basically since since the day Caitlin's been born I've been doing a cheap impression of my father which has really worked out pretty well um, but, um, there are a lot of issues that are going on now that, um, my father did not have to deal with. And just thinking about Jacob and Josh and Jared and Jordan having access to social media, I mean, I'm sure that keeps my father up at night. Um, there are strengths and weaknesses of every social media app. Um, and there are a lot of them that come around uh, so fast it's hard to even stay on top of all this information that is presented to you. Um, it was just a year ago that I was doing a session with a young woman and she said did you see my video on TikTok?" and I was like TikTok, you say like you know the three blind mice went up the clock tick and you know she did not get the three blind mice reference and I didn't get the TikTok reference so there we were uh, you might have to be the uncool parent you might have to be the parent uh, uh, to who does not let their child have access uh, to the newest social media app until you know for sure about it or you can or you have researched it to know what safety guards are in place um, if you don't want to be the bad guy you have every right to blame me you can say well I'd let you have this app but Dr. Josh doesn't think it's a good idea I can take the heat uh, being an old curmudgeon I'm just great at this um, I think uh, encouraging our congressmen to have increased regulation of these social media apps so that harassing uh, and bullying uh, content can be removed more quickly is essential. I firmly believe uh, that these social media apps and the subsequent cyberbullying has resulted in increased self-injury and suicidality. Um, so, second thing, uh, as parents we have to regularly and randomly check uh, the electronic devices of our children. It, there is no child who is completely safe from this. That is not hyperbole. That is just truth. Um, there was one young man that I was working with uh, and he uh, befriended somebody on Facebook who was a 35 year old man um, 
uh, who was posing as a 15-year-old, communicating with this 15-year-old young man who was definitely moderate to severe autistic through Facebook Messenger and was able, after prodding and grooming for several months, to get the young man to send him a picture with his shirt off, then blackmailed the young man to send him daily repeated pictures of himself in compromising positions so that uh, the older man would not tell his father and this behavior did not become made aware uh, until the FBI uh, told the parents about what was going on. There are many uh, men who uh, portray themselves as teenagers uh, to rape and sexually assault young women of various ages. Uh, we need to be checking their devices. Uh, I told this to one parent one time and, and she was referencing her 12 year old son and she said well what about his right to privacy? There is no right to privacy. They're in your house. They're using the internet that you pay for the electronic devices that you probably paid for, the electricity that you pay for, uh, and they are minors. It, you would be negligent as a parent not to regularly and randomly check their electronic devices to see what they are communicating. And if you see things that are deleted you have to figure out why it's being deleted because uh, that didn't just happen randomly um, there's another type of bullying called emotional bully bullying and and a lot of these categories can kind of blend together but emotional bullying is when you isolate a person uh, and, and encourage other people to isolate them. That can occur in some of the other formats as well, uh, but it's important to know. Um, one of the strategies when your child uh, lets you know that they are being bullied is uh, what we call response prevention. Now, it is not the best overall possibility but it is something to consider because maybe you can solve a problem quickly so this involves uh, having maybe having the child sit in an area in the class different area of the classrooms go to a different classroom take a different route to class uh, or walk with someone to other classes uh, now when I was a senior in high school, I made a good friend with a young man named Aaron, who was about my height, but was 230 pounds, and was a linebacker for the Jeff High football team. Now, the nice thing about walking with Aaron is people would come up to try to bully me, and then they would see Aaron right there, and Aaron would give them a look, and they would just walk away. Uh, it was great. I loved it. It it made me smirk every time. Um, and it was because Aaron was my friend, and they were physically intimidated by Aaron, uh, and definitely made my senior year one of my, the easiest years in high school. One of the things that we can't do with children being bullied is blame the victim there is nothing wrong um, with having a child complete a self-defense class uh, there is nothing so that they can defend themselves in these situations to a better degree there is nothing wrong with helping teach the child improve social skills uh, to help reduce the possibility of them being bullied 
but we cannot communicate in any way to the child that they are responsible for the bullying that they are receiving. Um, around the eight, my eighth grade year, I started just not talking at school, not saying a word. Um, and that continued into high school, definitely freshman and sophomore years. And I was still being actively, almost daily bullied, uh, which led me to think that there was something wrong with me because I'm not doing anything. I'm not saying anything. I would go weeks without even saying an audible word in the Jeff High building. And um, yet I was still being bullied. So I just figured that there must be something about me that deserved it. And it is important as parents that we communicate to them that um, there is nothing wrong with them that really the problem is with the bullies not the bullied um, it's okay to have your child talk to a therapist it, it can make a big difference it can adjust the way that they see themselves and the way they see other people and help them overcome the situations that they deal with quicker and easier. To this day, it is a battle for me to look at people in, in the eye. And I'm a psychologist. And it's because uh, I still feel like I don't deserve that kind of respect to be able for people to, be, to look at me in the eye. Uh, so getting early therapy can be beneficial one of the things that we want to teach all children as soon as possible is to be comfortable in their own skin now I know plenty of adults who are not, who are not comfortable in their own skin and I know from a developmental aspect it can be very hard for middle school children to get comfortable in their own skin. Um, but the sooner we can teach children to be comfortable with who they are, the easier that this is going to be. Um, it wasn't until well into college even graduate school where I started feeling comfortable with being a geek and you know who knew that I would uh, be living in a time now where being a geek is incredibly popular some of the best superheroes are geeks and uh, it you know smart is the new sexy and I gotta tell you I'm smart um, and and I started accepting myself later than I would have liked that, you know, this is who I am. I am not going to be like the greatest athlete and I am not going to be on the cover of any magazine. But there are, I am like every other human being. I have strengths and I have weaknesses and I can like myself for who I am. Um, and that is one of the things that we need to teach all children even children who have never been diagnosed with any certain mental health disorder in their life at some point every single human needs to learn to be comfortable in their own skin um, now my daughter Caitlin she has taught me a lot and with her autism uh, she is just very comfortable in her own little world and I will never forget uh, she was like six years old at this time we were at a Louisville Bats game and they, uh, they had this wall climbing wall that you could do and if you climbed up it you won a prize and um, 
you know, there was, there was these boys, uh, older boys that were doing it, and they couldn't get it. They kept falling down. And Caitlin wanted to do it, so, you know, I paid the money. And she she goes to climb, and she's younger than them, and she is a girl. And they start making fun of her and yelling things at her. Now, Caitlin, with her autism, isn't even looking at them. She just climbs the wall, gets straight up to the top, turns around, and giggles at them. Now that is comfortable in your own skin. <sighs> now, also in my line of work, uh, I work with the bullies. Um, because if you really want to end bullying, we got to stop, we got to, we got to have the bullies get better themselves too. It could happen at some point in your life, raising your children, that you realize that your child is bullying another child. And uh, you're, you're still a good parent. Everything's fine. But it has to be addressed. Like everything has to be addressed. Many people who engage in bullying behaviors were once bullied themselves. And they function off of the phrase, if you can't beat them, join them. And they are bullying because they are compensating for the inadequacies that they feel in themselves. And one of the things that you want to find out if your child is engaging in bullying behavior, um, what has led to this? Have they ever been bullied themselves? And I want you all to know that it is perfectly okay uh, at, to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with your children or one-on-one -on -one activities with your children. And while you're in the car with them, ask them. Now, car discussions are the great, are the greatest because they can't leave. Uh, and ask them, hey. You know, I heard Dr. Josh talking about bullying the other day. Have you ever been bullied? Do you ever see kids get bullied? What do you do when you see somebody get bullied? Do you, um, do you ever bully other people? One thing that happened two years ago is a young man who used to bully me came up to me and said, Josh, uh, I want to apologize uh, for how I treated you when you were a kid and I'm like well you know you never bullied me what are you apologizing for and he said I was there I saw it and I said nothing because I didn't want them to bully me so I just said nothing and I was a chicken and I was a coward and I apologize and I accepted his apology talk to your children about bullying they're going to see it. They may be a victim of it. And I will tell you, it doesn't matter what you look like. Tom Cruise was bullied in high school because he was short. And you know what? He still is short. Uh, Scarlett Johansson was bullied in high school. Lots of people were bullied in high school. You know, even intelligent, attractive kids with good social skills can be bullied, can be isolated, can be cyber bullied. Ask them. Ask your children and want to know the answer. That your children have to feel that they can come to you with anything and you will listen. Uh, there have been so many times in my life just personally and professionally where kids told me things first before they told their parents and I'm glad they told me and we were able to work on it and help them learn to tell their parents but I just wish they felt comfortable enough to tell their parents first but you have to model for them that you can hear upsetting information and still listen you will be angry when you find out that your child is either being bullied or is a bully but you cannot fly off the handle 
you have to be cool and you have to listen there may be consequences either you know with what's going on but you have to listen and you have to find out the full story there can be no uh, tolerance for bullying and if your child is a bully they must apologize to the persons that they have bullied uh, and you have to figure out the best way to make that apology without it harming the person that they bullied so sometimes that will be face to face sometimes it will be a letter but they must apologize to who they've bullied because it will impede their progress as, an, as a person until they do apologize so let's not have them wait till they're 35 to apologize if they need psychological help it's okay uh, actually that's a good thing to do so that this pattern does not continue and when whether they work on improving this behavior at 15 or 35 it's it's good that they work to stop it um, and then you have to look at the influences on their life who are their friends are those friends who encourage inappropriate behaviors with peers or are they not are they listening to music that negatively affects them are they watching movies or video games that negatively affect them you need to do a full examination of the child and the child needs to learn how to analyze themselves what depending on what the child is going through one of the things that I will do with the bullies is empathy training uh, that can be done by you know even watching segments and where you see like segments of a movie or a TV show where a person is being bullied and getting them to try to look at the perspective of that individual who is being bullied uh, sometimes I will take them to McDonald's and we will see and I'll see see the way that manager is talking to that employee how do you think that employee feels so naturalistic observations as the parent you should have more time with them so you should be able to provide and identify those observations even sharing over dinner times that you made poor or good use of empathy throughout your day the um, and you might have to examine you and what kind of example you are sending to your child to uh, see if you are portraying a message where you think it's okay to bully other people the um, as parents we have an obligation to tell children things they don't want to hear uh, and this is an area that they will need to improve on to help them be successful adults husbands and fathers and, and employees um, these these are just a few things uh, about this subject if you have any uh, questions uh, feel free to message me email me text me you know the ways uh, I'm gonna put up the link uh, for Jared's walk one more time for anybody who wants to make a donation um, the um, I really appreciate you all uh, watching this video uh, I'm going to transfer this to my YouTube channel uh, tomorrow because I know some people like sharing it that way and uh, and I and I hope for your continued help as we address this important problem